How did He create? He created with the power of His Word. When He spoke and desired something to be done, He says, hmm, let there be light. And there was light. This is the power, awesome power of the Word of God. Now I've stood at Niagara Falls and watched the awesome weight of tons and tons and tons of water falling over, over, the, uh, over that uh, awesome cliff there and just stand there and watch and say, wow, the weight of that and the power of that is awesome and it's amazing. And, but if you think about it and you consider that here's God created it all with the Word and say, let there be light and there was light. And I just say, pra praise the Lord. You know, I mean, there's much darkness in this world. Today, but you know we have a we have a God that has spoken and said, "Let there be light," and He has sent us out to be a light. Amen. Jesus said, "The Bible, the Bible says, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that believeth in Me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life.'" And Jesus said, "As the Father has sent Me, so send I you." And the Father who said, "Let there be light," is saying to th this morning, "Let there be light," and He's sending you out, and He's chosen you to be His light to the lost world. And the testimony that you give for Jesus is this. Is, is a far greater and far more powerful light than the, than, than the light that, that, that appeared the day that he spoke and said, let there be light. Hmm. The light that you are for Jesus as you go out in the community and as you reveal a testimony for Christ and show your love for Christ and the, the light that you are in Christ is far more powerful, far greater, amen, amen. amen. Than, than the light that he created when he just spoke and said, let there be light. And in John chapter 1, in John chapter 1, when, uh, uh, which John is my favorite book in the Bible, and John chapter 1 begins with also the first baseball game, in the beginning. And he says, in, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Again, to say John is starting out again with the Father Son and Holy Spirit. He's getting beginning with the revelation of the Son, just as Genesis started off with the word bar and uh, Beth, Rash, and Olive. And, J and John starts off saying, let's look at the, let's look at the glory of who, who Jesus is. In the beginning was the Word. Jesus was with the Father. The word. Here he personifies Jesus as the Son in calling Him the Word, but who was in the beginning with God. And he says that the Word was God. And he was in the beginning with God. There was no time when the, when the Word was not yet with the Father. When the Word was not yet with God and the Word was God. And, the, uh, and then, you know, we, in the, you know, the Jehovah Witnesses, they changed the, uh, tra the translation in, the new, in their translation. They changed this to say the Word was a God. And as though they're be, uh, minimizing the... What John is trying to say in saying that the Word was God. Trying to minimize it, just like we might say an angel is God, or just a little... Uh, but, but you know what? We say we ask the question, well, is Jesus some kind of a, just authority that we might call a God? Or is He the God? Or is He... Um, yes, He... The Bible says in verse 3, answers this question. It says, through Him all things were made. Mm -hmm. And without Him was nothing made that was made. Mm -hmm. Everything that has been made was made through Him. Through the Word. Jesus is the, the one through whom everything was created. And uh, so this is now, why does God reveal, why does the Holy Spirit inspire John to reveal Jesus as being the Word? Why does God reveal this? You know, this is the Word because you know, it's God from the very beginning had a desire, in, his, in, in the very character and nature of who God is, He is a God, not a lonely God, up on a mountain with no one to talk to. God is a God of fellowship. God is a God share, of sharing. God is a God of, of revealing. And God is also a God hiding as much as He wants to hide and revealing as much as He wants to reveal. Mm -hmm. And so, and, uh, but God has been there as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in fellowship together as three persons, but in one God. One God in three persons in fellowship. And in the same way, that God uh, was in fellowship together. He created man to have fellowship with himself. That's the thing is, you know, man is different from every other creature that's ever been made. You know, you have an eternal spirit. Amen? Amen. Your, man was made in the image of God. Mm -hmm. And for whatever that means, means man is made in fellowship with God 
And man is made to live forever in peace with God, in fellowship with God. That was God's original purpose. God wanted to reveal Himself. But you know, God didn't reveal everything to man. You know, man is different from animals. You can go everywhere in the world and you see every nation, every language, every tribe, and every people. They have a religion. Do you know that? And, and though, though, many, though many things have been done to, to stuff, uh, snuff out religions, and shut down religions in places in places where governments have tried to shut down religion. The stronger they try to shut it down, the greater it breaks out. Because man is religious. And why is man religious? Indifferent from, other, from, from animals. Man is religious because there's something in the spirit of man that hungers and longs for God. God created man in His own image. God created man to hunger and to long for Him. But when man was separated from God, then that there was a gap, and man was lost, and man was separated. And in being separated from the true and holy God, to find a, a way to worship God, they didn't know how to find the worship of the true God. So, they began to make their own gods, make their own way, make their own path. So, God made a way. And this is the thing. What about this word in John chapter 1? Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that was made. But in, in, then in, in, in verse 4 it said, In him was life. And the life was the light of man, of man. And this is the heart of the book of John is in verse 4. And that is, In him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shines in darkness. And the darkness does not understand it. You know, the entire book of John, the theme of John is life. And life is a relationship with God. And when we walk, we can walk with God and hear from God and love God and have peace with God. You know, in, in, if, if you just look at the example in the book of John of, of, of the idea of life, in him was life, but it was not understood. This life is a Greek word he calls zoe. And Zoe is a close fellowship with God. And God brought our spirits in Christ to life. God told Adam, on the day you eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, He said, you will surely die. He said, you will surely die. But when man sinned physically, Adam didn't die, did he? But the spirit died. But in Jesus, in Jesus, the dead spirit comes to a new life. You know, one very exciting verse in uh, Ephesians chapter 2. You know, we, talk, we all know this verse. It says, by grace are you saved through faith, and not of yourself as a gift of God. But you know, there's one verse in there, a few verses before that, and it says that He raised us up and made us sit with Him in heavenly places. See, this is what... Christ did for us. He raised us up. He raised our dead spirits to a new life. That we could sit with Christ in heavenly places. And this is not just something that's going to happen in the future. But it's something that happens when we believe. That we're redeemed from time and into eternity. But this life is, we're going to see in the book of John. As we study through the book of John. This life is greatly misunderstood. It's greatly uh, misunderstood and uh, as we see, um, for example, Jesus said to Nicodemus, unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. But Nicodemus said, well, how can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? See, he didn't understand. This is a life that was...